embarrassing. This is pretty cool. So you just got your first delivery of this is through what? Through Sprouts? The Sprouts delivery through Instacart. So how'd that work? Very well. That's it? Well, what do you want to know? So you used, well, show me the app. That was pretty cool. All right. This is the Instacart app. So what are, the, some th what are some of the things you liked over the, um, Amazon, not, the Walmart app? Or the Walmart pickup service. Um, you got to choose your replacements. If can you show? Can you show uh, how, what do you mean? You got to choose, choose your replacements. If the store was out of stock on an item, it would tell you what the shopper was going to choose, and you could say if that was okay. It would give you other options. You could override that choice instead of waiting until you got your groceries to. Tell them yes or no. On so, the like change. one of the things you, you mentioned was that, like, what, what they what what did they recommend they were going to replace something with? Oh, I ordered English cucumbers, and they were going to replace it with baby cucumbers, and so I said no. I would like just regular cucumbers instead. And you can kind of see what uh, what he was shopping at as he went, right? Yes. Can you still no, because it's over. The shopping is over. So as as he's shopping, as the guy is, so you get one guy. They they give you his name, right? Yes. Paul was his name. Yes. And as he's shopping at Sprouts. At Sprouts, your app tells you what he's putting in the shopping cart, right? Yes, it lets you know how much of your order is completed, which items he's already shopped for and which ones he has not shopped for yet. And you can actually chat with them, right? That was kind of cool. Yes, and there was a chat option. So if you wanted to add things on while he was in the store, you could do that. Or if you had a question, you could chat with him. That's pretty cool. And he just showed up at our door and dropped the stuff off. And you don't pay him, right? No, you pay when you order. Now, the thing I was still wondering about is tipping him. You're supposed to do you tip them like in person, like a pizza guy, or the, through the app? Or I tipped through the app, and it says, um, if you want, you can change that tip amount later, but at least it, you can do it, and then if your service is terrible, I guess you could go in and change it, and you're not stuck with that. Okay, and so how much is the delivery fee for this? Um, about $6. $6? And how much did you tip? I tipped 10%. So how much was that? Three dollars and seventy-seven cents. So a total of that was it six ninety-nine, seven ninety-nine. Six ninety. Five ninety-nine, I think. Six. So so less than ten bucks, right? Mm -hmm. You get it delivered. And you have to have a minimum order of thirty-five dollars. Okay, and. Um, Which is easy to do at Sprouts. Oh man, the video's going to show our dirty, dirty dishes over there. Ah, <laughs> uh, stinks. <laughs> I just did dishes too. Um. So. What time did you what time did you place the order? Mm, about seven, maybe. And what time were they actually here? About eight ten. So an hour and ten minutes. Mhm. Mm so from the time you placed the order to the time they were here is about an hour and ten minutes. Maybe hour ten minutes, hour and a half. I don't remember exactly when I placed the order. Okay. Might have been a slightly before and seven. Walmart. How quick was Walmart? What did you get? So well, how quick was Walmart? Um. Walmart's usually the next day, sometimes the same day, but not that fast. So go through this stuff and see what kind of quality. Do you, do you think the shopper did a decent job? Was he... Was it stuff you would pick? Garlic looks fine. I mean, uh, ginger. Cilantro looks good. He got my change to the regular cucumbers. Yeah, the produce looks fine. They were out of the big organic black pepper, so he substituted it for the smaller, regular black pepper. No, he doesn't ask. He just does it. And, and the app tells you that he's changing it. And, and he, you can go in and say yes or no and tell him what to get instead of. So does it... Um... Does it give you a choice? Because obviously, if they're yes. out of it, you don't know you don't know what they have. It so does. how do you know what to replace it with? It says Paul is getting the small black pepper. 
um, do you want to approve that? And if you don't, it says other, and you could click on other, and it gives you other choices for substitutions. Huh. Okay. And then you can change it if you want to. Okay. Oh, man, I should have recorded Paula when he was here. Because he showed up, like, in just T-shirt and jeans, right? Like, just a regular guy, like a neighbor. Yep. Expiration date is good on the yogurt. This looks good. And it's our sprouts order. Oh, huh. okay. So on a scale of one to ten, how was Paul? Quick. Yeah? Yeah, it was fast. So do you find it to be a decent value? Not sure? Ten bucks, I don't know. Yeah, it's that's convenient. Maybe if you were doing a larger order. Okay. Most of my sprouts orders are usually larger. This just happened to be a small one. I think that vacuum's gonna bump me. We have the vacuum running around. There it goes. Um, how would you compare this to the Walmart service? Um, the Walmart service is good too. It's not as quick. You don't get to choose your own substitutions, but you're also not paying a fee. Walmart doesn't charge anything? Nope. It's free, but you have to pick it up. But you just kind of pull up to Walmart and they load yeah. it up, right? Well, no, you have to bring your own bags and bag it oh, up. Oh, they didn't charge you for the bags, did they? They did not charge me for the bags. Huh, I don't know how to do that. I'm afraid that thing's going to bump into me. Well, again. unless that's on tacked on at the end because they don't know how many bags you're going to get. At Walmart or? No, at um, Sprouts? Instacart. So basically my order, they, they put a hold on my card for about $10 more than what my order was. How much was your order originally? Like 30 bucks? So they maybe no, put mine 40? was a little more than 30. So I think it was like 45 after tax. They put a hold for 55 that way they can make substitutions and things like that so maybe the bags are accounted for in that and then it'll be adjusted to reflect the actual price okay and what's the app called instacart can you show me on the phone all right which one is it it's this one with the little carrot They also have other stores in this area. They have uh, Costco and Albertsons and Vons. And it's kind of cool. So for one price, they can go multiple places, right? That's what it looked like. I haven't done that myself, but when I was reading it, it said that you can have it go to more than one store. Huh. That's pretty cool. All right. In one trip. So maybe it's two prices, but one trip? I'm not sure. Two prices, one trip. So you get your groceries from both of them at the same time, but maybe there's a fee for each one. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks. Bye.